Hackney Wit has a unique and vivid energy formed by the clusters of creatives and dedicated community-minded locals. Telford Homes partnered with Creative Wit to commission artists who have strong ties to this area, inviting them to create an art piece that speaks to the history of where Stone Studio development lies and look to the future. I am Demi from Hackney. I've been doing street art and graffiti for almost two years now. The artwork that I have been commissioned to design right now, it's a hammer and a brush to show the two differences between where Hackney Wick was 100 years ago and where it is now. Hi, I'm Squams. I'm an artist from London. Uh, I'm an illustrator. My style focuses on playful, fun, emotion. For the project today, I decided to take inspiration from nature and ant colonies. Uh, I took inspiration thinking about the different atmospheres that you can find around Hackney Wick. Hackney Wick is a great place for artists, um, street artists and muralists, and the people around here are always super encouraging and friendly about it. I'm Mona Sharif. Uh, I live in Hackney Week. Uh, I'm half of uh, Repot Hackney Week, so I usually paint uh, terracotta pots. So today uh, I decided to go uh, with uh, various shapes and various colors uh, to represent the diversity, especially of artists in Hackney Week. I've started uh, Repot, as I said, uh, during lockdown, and uh, I guess because of the changes and more people coming, there's been a lot of interest, uh, which could have, I guess, not happened if uh, Hackney Week was not evolving like this. So far, it's been really, yeah, promising. <laughs> Hi, um, my name's Amber Joy. I'm a multimedia artist originally from Yorkshire, and I mainly paint, well, these figures. <laughs> so in my piece today, it's a little bit historical, and what we're showing is Hackney Week throughout the history and the people that are here. Today has been fantastic um, to meet other writers who I see about to put a face to that. It's been really, really nice. It's really fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm Zachy D, 163, <laughs> and uh, I started doing graffiti in 1982, the end of 1982. I'm known by a few things. Snatch is my graffiti name and Fake Blood is what I'm known for musically. So my name's Epod. Um, I am traditionally a graffiti writer, but um, the level of work sort of opens up into, uh, into fine art. The idea behind the place that we're painting was, was to keep it, you know, that, to keep it so that we could sort of show the materials and how we can almost turn our three styles into um, something of a story. So it starts off with Zaki's is the iron ore, very rough, rough pieces of rock um, shapes and, and, you know, very angular going into snatches, which was um, almost like forged metal. And then mine pushing it into more futuristic thing that's, that's shaped and formed and polished. 